Like Biz Uni crew. It's sure. So I'm coming on to try to teach y'all how to layer an image one more time. I, I've done a couple of videos, but a lot of people still seem like they're having a hard time. So I'm going to try to go as slow as possible. I recommend you get your top out and do it with me. That will also help, hopefully, if you got a good attention span. So what you want to do, you want to go to your uh, Cricut Design Space. You want to go to New Project, which is up in the right corner. Okay, so once you get to your canvas, this is your canvas area here. Over to your left, it has all your options to uh, upload. You should get something like this here where it's an image pattern fill right here where you want to upload your photos. These photos down here should be photos that you have saved. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to upload image. You should get a page that look like this. It says drag and drop file here or browse. Then get a file that you had already saved. Majority of the pictures that you want to look for, you want to make sure they're in black and white. So you would like a black and white image. Okay, so we got our image. Uh, it says Diesel Girl. You go over here and you'll say what type of image it is. Um, I always just go with complex. Find details, blend the colors. And so I click the last one, which is the complex. I come over here. Go to continue. Right here is your removal tool, the crop tool. Like if you want to crop the box around it, you'll use the crop. But this here is your removal tool. Now, I'm so used to doing everything on my phone to the point where some days I forget. Like you can do more options over here. So right here is your select tool. If you want to erase something, that's your eraser tool. To restore, that will pop up once you did either one of those. More options is the tolerance of the color. Like if um, it didn't clean all of it, you can always bring this level up here to make the whatever you're trying to remove, remove more. It's the best way I can describe it. So it's on 16. Usually it works however they have it in the settings, but sometimes you might have to play with those numbers to make it really, really clean it. So it's already selected the remove tool. So all I'm gonna hit is the black and it'll take it out for me. And I mean, you can always hit the white background as well. I like doing it like this and sometimes it cleans it better for me. That's just my preference, but I don't want that, um, the other parts of it. I'm gonna just leave everything else and I'm just gonna clean what I want. Apply. Okay. So if you look over here where it say cut image, this is what it looks like. It looks like a gray box because I only cleaned the black area. Now if I would have cleaned the white area, the wording would have been in black. But I like cleaning like this. There's different ways you can clean. When you clean, you can always just hit the white background and then remove all white areas and they will leave just the wording. And it will look different than this. It won't have a, a background. This got a background because I only cleaned the black. I hope that makes sense to someone. I can redo it uh, doing it the white way, not right white way. And then I'll give you another example. So that is my image right here. I'm gonna go back in one more time and get a, the same image just to show you the difference of how to clean. So I'm going to go browse, I'm going to find that same image. And this time I'm not going to hit the back, uh, the black, I'm just going to hit the white background. So there's two ways you can clean in Cricut. Uh, depends on the design, how much detail work that design has, and if it's really worth it. Sometimes if you clean the black, it cleans better. Sometimes when you clean the white, it don't clean everything. You We have too many uh, areas in it. So here, let me zoom in just a tad. If I can find the zoom. Okay, the zoom over here. If you notice, this is the white. All this is white. So you want to click the white. So when you click the white, it should give you the checkerboard box. It's letting you know that area is clean. 
You can always preview the cut before you save it and it'll show you what's clean and what's not. Let's see, can you let me preview. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now. Only reason why it's looking like a shadow is because I did not clean. No, I didn't touch something. I did not clean everything. So I'm gonna just click everything that need to be removed. So the background need to be removed. The inside here where it's white, it needs to be removed. The inside of the lettering has to be removed in order to get what you need to cut. So anything white, take it out right now. All you're doing is clicking on it. If you can't see, the zoom is right here. You just push the plus sign, it'll zoom up for you. You'll touch it and you're cleaning the areas that are white. You gotta clean inside the letters, outside, whatever you want to cut need to be clean. So you gotta check everything to make sure it looks good. So far, everything looks good. I'm gonna go to apply and continue. All right, so it looks just like I want it to look, right? Over here, it, the only difference is the lips are not as detailed as this picture here. This picture here is the printing cut. So you can always clean an image if you want to print it out and you want it to uh, be cut with color. The exact way you find a picture in color, you'll clean it and then this is the area you'll save if you want to do a print and cut. You'll save it just like you upload it. If it's in color um, and you cleaned uh, everything you want to be cut out. So it will come cut out in pieces just like this. So you got to remember that too. Now, if you didn't want it in pieces and you just wanted the area to be, let's go back. We're going to go back. But that's how you clean the white. But let's go back um, a couple steps. Let's see. How do I say cancel, I guess? Okay, we'll go back. We'll upload it again. We'll upload. Let's see if I find a picture with color. We'll use this bulldog as an example. So if I wanted this bulldog to stay the exact color it is, and all I wanted Cricut to do for me was to cut it, I will go to my uh, complex image and of course you know I'm just going to remove the background that's it I'm not going to remove none of the white on on him I'm just going to remove the background so you get your removal tool which is already highlighted and you just click on the area you want to remove okay so now it's a PNG file pretty much and you go apply and continue and you see over here he's a shadow and over here he looks just like the picture now Cricut is going to cut him out just like this, if you save it as a printing cut. This is a printing cut. If you want the image to look just like this here on the right, you need to clean only the background and save this picture here. Make sure it's highlighted. You see the green boxes around this one? It say print then cut. So you'll be responsible for sizing the picture and cutting the picture. I hope that helps somebody. We, we got all off track. I just went into teaching mode, I guess. If you just want a shadow, you can just you can you can keep it like this and go into Cricut and just change into a cut file. You don't even have to save this one. Let me show you. So you'll save this. You just upload it. And if you notice it has a line up there above that. You would have erased that because you didn't need that because Cricut cut that too. Yes. So you just say make it, and it's gonna come onto your screen as a picture, and it's already detecting. See, you got a box around. So Cricut, once you print it off your regular printer, you put it on the mat. It's got to be on the mat, just like you see it on the on the screen. You will load the mat into the Cricut uh, machine, and then it'll go back and forth a couple times and scan, and it'll you know let you know when it's detected, and then it'll tell you when it's cutting. Don't touch nothing until it's complete, and it'll cut it out for you. But you have to print from your printer. Your printer has to be connected to, you know, Bluetooth and all that stuff. So let's just say, for instance, if you wanted to just keep this picture and you wanted a back layer copy of that, you'll duplicate that copy. Like if you were doing like how they do the little pictures and stuff and they make um, like the little table center pieces and they have like it'd be so thick, but it has the picture on it. Instead of being like a little thin, they do layers. So when they do layers, they'll do something like
like this. So this is the print and cut right here. It's the same. So you go up here where it say print and cut. You'll drop that arrow down and you'll say basic, basic cut. And then that's your shadow layer. So you can always turn whatever you saved as a printed cut to a shadow layer. It depends on how you clean it and all. So be mindful of that. So let's go to upload. And we're going to find the diesel girl that I saved. And we're going to add to canvas. I should have went live doing this because it's taking a minute. At the very top of the screen, right here where my little arrow is moving, it says size. Your, this is your width and this is your height. The box is unlocked, so thank God for that. Because if it wasn't, I mean, like, you, you know, it'll size it still, but it'll just, you won't be able to do the width and the height, like, stretch wise. It would have just did it for you. So I'm going to just say four width, five height, something like that. Okay. Just to get it, whatever. And I can always just um, change it to say six. No, I just went uh, six width. Okay, that's good enough right there. Um, so I'm trying to make it simple for it won't be too hard. So that's why I didn't pick a real, real hard image. Now these are wordings. But it still can be layered. You're responsible for the color. I hope that makes sense. So right here, you see it's a black box around my image. Over here on the right-hand side, you see the word that says contour. Click contour. So once you click contour, all of your image is over here in these boxes. They all the individual pieces. So let's just say if you didn't, well, we don't want the box. First of all, we'll get rid of the box from around it. And let's just say if you only want the word diesel girl to be black, right? And the hearts to be red with the lips red. So we're going to delete everything that's not going to be red. So what you want to do is you want to highlight everything that's not going to be red. So you just click on it and it'll turn into a gray box. So let's go over here and show you. Everything that's not going to be um, black is in a gray box over here. So you see the two hearts, the lips. So we see the lips. The lips should be in a gray box. Let's click that one. Okay, so the square is what we got rid of. We got rid of the two lips. And we got rid of the two hearts because those are going to be a different color. So we can push X to exit out of it. So all we left with is the diesel girl. And you see these little details here? We need to get rid of that as well. So we'll go back to contour. And you could have left a blank one. Okay, so we just click on the inside here and get rid of those little pieces because we don't want that. Go back out. Now we just got the diesel word. So now we'll just right click and we'll duplicate a copy. Now this time we um gonna go back to contour. We're gonna push, we're gonna highlight one of them. We just need one. So we're gonna highlight one. We're gonna go to contour. Okay, so this time we're gonna push hide all contour. If you look down here where my mouse is moving, you see it right here. It says hack all contours. So we just click on that. That way it hit everything. Now, anytime you hide everything, it's always gonna be one thing still selected. So you have to select something to get rid of rid of something else. Like right now, the box is only things are um like highlighted. So if I exit out of here now, it's just gonna be a black box. Nothing wording, no nothing. So I have to highlight something I want to keep to get rid of the box. So right now, I'm gonna click the red lips. In the hearts. I mean, gotta make sure it's not in a gray box when you click it. So sometimes you just gotta keep playing with it, but you can always go over here and uh, highlight. So these two are in white boxes now because that's what I wanna keep. As you notice, the one up here is in a white box as well. I don't want that one no more. So I'm gonna click on that 
and it's in a gray box. So it's no longer there. Only thing that's highlighted is the lips. So now I want the hearts. So I'm gonna click those and then I'm gonna push X. So all I got left is the hearts. And I'm gonna turn those red by going up here where you see it say basic cut. It has a black box beside it. I will click that box and I will just find a color I would like. And if I don't see a color, I go to advance and then I can play with this little color chart over here. And it'll give me the colors I want. And another thing, you do not have to have it separated like this because that's going to mess up vinyl. That's just my personal opinion. You can always just go back to um, contour and then uh, where you go duplicate, you duplicate a copy that heart and make that heart bigger if we just had to, you know, because it's a heart. Like So right now, let's just say you see how it's two hearts over here. You can just highlight that and duplicate it and just drag it a little bigger than the other one. It's just simple as that. Instead of you doing all the extra, like, you know, piecing or whatever. But um, if you did want to do the contour thing, you can always grab a shape. You get a square. And all you're doing is covering those you highlight it, and then you'll slice. So it will take the lips away from the hearts. It's taking my computer a good little minute to do it, y'all. I appreciate the patience. Okay, so we got that. We're going to delete that. Just delete. And we don't need the gray part, so we can delete that as well. And then another thing, these two are still together. You can also do the same thing. Now, I'll remind you, if everything's still together, you're not going to see the slice. Like, if the lips was, like, still highlighted with everything, you want to see the slice. See, so like, right here, I only need to highlight these two hearts because those are still together. Now, if I highlight all of this, I won't get the option to slice because it only slices one thing at a time that is attached. I hope I'm making sense. So... You got to make sure you draw a box around only the things you need to slice away from. See, now the slice show up. You push slice, it'll take the heart out of there. But I showed you three different ways to do it. You can do the hide the contour, or you can do a shape to detach anything. Or you can just duplicate one that look, that's that got multiple pieces already and just size it different. You don't have to work as hard, but sometimes we forget, you know, other ways to work it. So, yeah. We got the lips, everything detached. We don't need these hearts. I was just giving examples. I hope I'm not confusing nobody. Work with the TV as I talk. Pause it. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, so now this is my design. Now, if I was doing a sticker vinyl, I would leave it just like this, and I would go to make it, and I won't have to do nothing but play the colors on the mat that I'm using. It will already separate everything for me on each mat. It'll color the mat for me. That lets me know what color to put on the mat first. So you'll select on the mat. You'll push confirm what side mat you're using. It's going to show you exactly the sizing of your design. So your design, your mat, everything looks just like this screen right here. Let me zoom out some. This is your 12 by 12 mat. What helps me? Cut better vinyl. Sometimes I always count my squares. See, I see it's going from over here to about the six. So I cut enough vinyl to go to six and I cut it all the way down to here to the four because I know it's going to cut in this area here. Now I place my vinyl exactly where I see it on this screen. I'll put it exactly like that. I put I cut enough to go all the way to that line of the six and all the way to the line of the four. The next mat will show up. And Showing me my red. I'm going to lay red onto the mat. I see all this is going to get cut. So I cut to the four all the way to the two. I'll make sure my vinyl is a little under this two line so it won't cut into my design. Simple. And after you get through cutting, you're responsible for weeding it, you know, and placing it with transfer tape if you're doing vinyl. Okay, so now if you're doing HTV, same steps but different. You have to mirror your image. You didn't even have to come back to the mat, and I'll show you that in a minute, but right here, 
it's your design. You want to make sure everything is highlighted. Let's just say if you want to put this on a shirt, it's too small to put on a shirt. Right now, this is like a sticker bubble because it's like a five, three. So if I want it big, I go up here and do my width and height. Let's say 11, 11, 11 width, 11 height type situation. Okay. So the box, you see it changed my size and my width. It's because it's locked. So we need to unlock that to size it perfect, exact size we need. So make sure this is unlocked if you want a perfect measurement. So I want 11, 11. So I want 11 width, 11 height. So make sure that box is undid to get that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. You can all see it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. If it looks good to you, you'll run with it. If not, you make it the size you want. Okay, so right here up at the top, you see where it says align, arrange, and flip. Flip is to flip it horizontal or vertically, but horizontal, you want it to be backwards for you can be able to do it on HTV. Anytime you use an HTV vinyl, you have to mirror your image to be cut. Don't forget, Lord, because it'll, it'll hurt your feeling. You'll waste a lot of material. So make sure you flip your image horizontal. And you'll go to make it and it'll still do the same for you it'll separate your design on each mat for you the color that you're going to use first and you just want to lay everything up. you want to lay enough to cover the whole mat for your design because you don't want it to not get cut so black will go first this is what it looks like on the mat this is your black your black will go first and next will be your red yeah, so even with this right here, you see the uh, red, you'll cut enough to the six to the seven. That's what I do because you don't want to waste a whole sheet of vinyl. But you can just lay a whole sheet down and just cut that area. Just don't weed it first. Cut what didn't get cut off if you're going to put a whole sheet down there. So you just cut this area here. Then you have more vinyl. But I hope that helps somebody. If y'all need me to do another video. I will be happy to. I'm trying to explain the best way I know how, but I know I help somebody. Another way you can mirror your image is also once you get it on the mat, if you forgot to mirror it, this is a button over here that says mirror, and it'll flip it for you. You know what I mean? So it actually flipped it back the regular way it was, but I'm just saying, if you was going to do vinyl, HTV, and you forgot to flip it, you can always flip it before you cut right here on the left-hand side. You see my mouse moving? Always flip it and it'll flip mirror, it'll mirror the image for you. So I hope that helps somebody. Yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all have a blessed day. And uh let me know if y'all need another video. I love y'all.